Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be my foundation routine on my acne prone skin. If you are interested, continue watching. <laughs> So before I start, I just like to prep my lips with the sex to keep my lips moisturized. Then I just spray Max Fix Plus all over my face. And now I'm just going to go in with um, do my eyebrows. So I'm just brushing it out and trying to get the shape. So I do one side first, I don't know. So what I do is I, I'm just using the Fashion Fair um, eyebrow pencil in brown and black. Or brown black, sorry, to fill in my eyebrows. I know my eyebrows are really thick, but I don't know, I just kind of like filling them in because I feel like at the end, they arch weird. So filling in just kind of gives it that look that I want. And you know what they say, like eyebrows definitely define your face, so you want to make sure that your eyebrows are always on fleek. <laughs> so next I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NW40 to conceal under my brows and also on top. Just to kind of just, you know, give it that more defined look. I know there's a lot of tutorials, eyebrow tutorials on YouTube. And basically that's how I learn how to do my eyebrows. Basically on YouTube. You can find everything on YouTube nowadays. And, and the brush I'm using to conceal my eyebrows is the Real Techniques Angle Brush. I love this brush. It just, I love how it applies. It applies really well. What's wrong with me today? I'm not good with all this voiceover stuff, so bear with me. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be using the Hourglass um, Primer. And basically what this primer does, I just really love it. It just gives my foundation a smoother finish and a smoother look. And I, I really like primers. I just think it makes your foundation last longer also. So yeah, that's what I use for all over my face. And then I'm going to use the same concealer in NW40 to conceal my hyperpigmentation and my acne scarring. I have a lot of acne scarring, so because I don't want it to show under my foundation, I color correct with my NW40 concealer. And it, I just find that it just does the job. I know a lot of people color correct with like orange color correctors. Whatever works for you, honestly, as long as you know that you don't want your... Um, scars to show under your makeup then whatever works for you is fine with me but I just like this concealer I use it basically for everything so I'm just concealing all over my face the struggles guys the struggles so now I'm gonna just blend out my concealer so it doesn't look blotchy under my foundation because you don't want that. You don't want blotchy, like foundation for blotchy skin, like or blotchy concealer. Your blotchy concealer showing under your foundation. That's not cute. Um, so yeah, just blend, 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 blend. And now I'm using my Becca um, foundation um, in sandalwood, and I'm just applying it all over my face. It's the Becca Poreless foundation. And I'm using my Real Techniques brush, the stippling brush action. I'm so in love with this brush, like, it just does the job, it just blends, gets the job done. I was so sad when Walmart literally, like, was out of it for, like, months. I was like, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna stay fleek? <laughs> but thank God it came back in stock. So just blending. Again, my neck too. Make sure everything is covered. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I still have active pimples on my face, so I'm not gonna get everything on me, but yeah. 
Um, now I'm using the um, LA Pro Concealer in Cool Tan. I also use Fawn, but I was out of it, so I just started to use a Cool Tan, and it works the same way. So the key to highlighting is basically highlighting where the light hits. So under your eyes, your nose, your forehead, your chin, anywhere basically that the light will hit. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm blending with my beauty blender. The beauty blender I'm actually using is from Amazon. It's a dupe. I really love this one and it's not that expensive. I'm going to try and leave a link below if you are interested in um, purchasing it. But yeah, I love it. I actually have the other one too, but I like how this one applies better. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the other one, to be honest. But that's just me. I get all that blend and the key is to blend guys blend 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 that out you don't want any type of weird creasing so next now I'm filling my lids I'm applying my lids sorry with um the Urban Decay shimmer primer I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow uh, I think the eyeshadow I'm using um right now is a dark eyeshadow from Sephora I didn't really know what look I was going for. I just kind of went with the flow. So I'm using Nutmeg as a corner crease color. It's by Anastasia um, Contour Kit. Yeah, so Nutmeg and Anastasia Contour Kit is what I'm using. And then I'm high I'm setting my highlight with Ben Eye Banana. I don't like to use a lot because I find it makes my face a little too cakey. So yeah. I'm going to be contouring while I just let this, um, sorry, the Ben Nye beak, I will be contouring my face. I don't know why I'm like stumbling over my words. Guys, forgive me, seriously. <laughs> so you gotta contour that face, baby. Yes. Honestly, I'm about contour. I don't care what anybody says. I'll contour my face out. So I had to get off camera and apply my eyeliner because it's just very difficult for me to apply it on camera. I have to learn. So yeah, I'm just now just um, also using eyeliner to apply under my waterline. And then just use my mascara. Gotta get those bottom lashes too. Don't forget those. And then I like to use um, to brush out my Ben Eye. I like to use the NW40 um, Studio Fix powder. <laughs> and the brush I'm using is Raisin by Mac. And then the highlight that I decided to use was the 10 Carat, um, which is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm just kind of went detailed in my eyes with the gold. And then for my lips, I'm using Stone. I didn't use the eye um, lip liner because I just really like how Stone looks by itself. So yeah, I'm not really feeling it with the lip liner. I mean, I do that look sometimes, but today I was just feeling like doing Stone by itself. And then I just applied a Ben Nye setting powder, setting powder on my lips to give it that matte look. And now, guys, I am done. This is the finishing look. Um, it's nothing special or anything like that. I'm not a makeup guru, but that's how I apply my makeup on my acne prone skin. I'm the chains, you're in chains too. I wear uniform and you wear uniform too.